Hello, welcome to Sigma Tech Consult Limited Learning App class. This time we take you on the subject civic education. Remember when we talk about civic education, we ask the question, are you a responsible citizen? And I hope you are one. Now remember, we aim to raise responsible citizens citizens that know their rights, citizens that will carry out their obligations, and to that effect, we take part in the affairs of our society. And one of the problems or imagined issues faced globally in every nation is the fact that citizens are not interested in political affairs of their states. And it's a big problem to democracy. And that is what we want to address in the topic, political apathy. Specifically, we are going to look at what political apathy is, the forms political apathy can take, the reasons for political apathy, the dangers of political apathy, and the solutions to political a party, how we can solve the problem. Now let's talk about the first one meaning of political apathy. The word apathy is refers to disinterest, lack of interest in something. So somebody can have apathy towards religion, towards sports, towards anything. Now when we talk about the political aspect, we say political apathy. Now political apathy will refer to indifference lack of interest demonstrated by citizens towards political affairs or activities of their state. So we see a situation where citizens deliberately withdraw from taking part in the affairs of their state. This is when you see people tell you politics is a dirty game and therefore they don't want to associate with anything political in their state. Ignorantly, they don't know that politics affect even their private life. Because that man that is in power, his activities, his policy affect even the food you eat. In terms of the prices that you buy them. So this is political apathy, lack of interest demonstrated by citizens towards political activities of their state. What are the forms it take for you us to understand it? Maybe you you or somebody by your side is in this category. One, failure to vote. When people, qualified adults who are supposed to vote up to voting age, refuse to vote. We call it voter apathy. Failure to register to vote. Qualified adult up to 18, 20, decide not to register to vote. Failure to support a candidate. There are adults that are up to the level to support candidates. You don't have any candidate. You are not interested in any candidate in an election. Failure to support a party. You are not saying, okay, this is the party. I'm in support of its programs. That is what we call party manifesto. Failure to get information concerning political questions in a state. You don't know political issues in your country. You can't say anything that affects your country. As a country, you don't know the challenges of your country. Failure to get such information is part of political apathy. Failure to express opinion on public matters. Now, it is easier. Technology has made it, ICT has made it, made it easier for us to express our opinion using even the social media. Now, but you have people who cannot maximize that opportunity, they can't express their opinion because to them, it doesn't affect them. Non-involvement in electionary campaign, during campaign, you don't participate, you don't come out, you don't even pay attention. Failure to protest against the electoral malpractices. You see electoral malpractice, rigging of election going before your watch, you don't do anything because to you, it does not matter. So these are the forms citizens can demonstrate political apathy. And you can ask yourself, which one do you belong? Now, causes of political apathy or reasons for political apathy. However, there are reasons people demonstrate political apathy. At times, it may not be essentially their cause. There are factors responsible for this political apathy. Number one is type of government. 
When you have an autocratic government like military rule that will suppress freedom of uh, press, freedom of expression, you criticize the government, you are in trouble. They will jail you. If you have such government, people will shy away from political activities and will not like to identify with political activities of their state. And remember, when you have autocratic like military, you don't have political parties, no election. So it can automatically lead to lack of interest in political activities of a state. Also, lack of political or citizenship education. When people are not politically enlightened to understand why they should take active participation, active role in the affairs of their state. When people lack this basic knowledge, of course, they won't see reason to take part in the affairs of their state. Poverty is another cause of political apathy. Remember, the primary preoccupation of a poor man is how to meet his basic needs, especially food. And this explains why during the election, you see a poor man will carry home a machete to go to his farm to farm because to him we vote and bring what he will eat and also there are people that have the wisdom according to them to make things happen in this country but if you're poor you cannot contest for any election in nigeria and win it won't be possible you cannot even purchase um, expression of interest form of that political party apc in Nigeria in 2022, their primary for presidential election, a presidential candidate, it was sold for 100 million. So is it what a poor man can do? No. So poverty is a factor. Lack of trust for people in power. When people don't trust those in power, when they feel that whatever they do goes with ulterior motive, when people have that mindset, they dissociate themselves on anything that has to do with their governance and political apathy sets in. My practices in election is number one, the main reason people shy away. When people feel because of my practice, they feel their vote do not count. Of course, any person with that mindset will not waste time coming out to vote. So because of my practices, people don't come out during the election day to vote because they feel it's a waste of time. And you see what we call voter apathy. Also, when there is bad governance, government that does not respond to the needs and the earnings of the people, if you have such governance, of course, people will not identify with the government. They will not like to associate with anything that has to do with their governance, including election. When you have ignorant and illiterate people one they will not understand the issue remember in terms of knowledge an illiterate is limited in knowledge because anything that is in a written form any information in a written form the person will not get that information now because the person is limited in information the person will lack political education necessary to trigger active participation Religious belief, even there are people that see it as sin <laughs> to take part in politics. They see it as sinful. Some people that religion does not permit them to join political parties. So due to religious belief, some people shy away from political activities of the state. Some people have traditions and values <clears throat> that do not allow some persons, especially when traditions begin to segregate or discriminate particular persons in the society, during elections, during political activities, such people or victims here may not participate. We have traditions where some people will not allow their women to come out. It's their tradition. So such women may not actually take part in political activities of the state. Insecurity, especially violence during elections, is one of the reasons People don't come out to vote. If you're a victim of violence in election, I tell you, you will not take part in election again, especially voting. Because we have people who have died where they are voting because of violence. So because of insecurity, many people shield or shy away from political activities of their state. 
now should we continue with political apathy what are the dangers of political apathy the effects the consequences of political apathy in the state number one is undemocratic governance you won't have democracy in practice because democracy thrives where people take active part in the affairs of their state so if people are not taking part the government will not be democratic and democracy or democracy will fail in that state then there will be lack of accountability by those in power those in power will not give account of their stewardship because they don't owe it to people people don't show interest people don't criticize the government people don't review or evaluate the activities of government and react to them now the government will not have any urge to actually give account or say what they have done with what they have. It leads to denial of human rights, especially the voters who will not vote. There will be corruption in government when people don't participate because people will not kick against it. People will not even go to court. People will not compel the government to act properly by going to court. So it will lead to corruption in government we have lack of responsive governance. That is no good governance in the society. So we won't have good governance in the society because they feel that they can get away with anything they do because they have citizens who don't question, who don't ask questions about what is happening in their society. It will bring lack of development because the government will be arbitrary. The government will do whatever it likes and get away with it. It will not take the ideas of citizens because citizens will not contribute to the government by giving government advice. They will not criticize the government. So when you have the government alone, there will be lack of development because the government does not get input from the citizens. Also, there will be lack of loss of respect for those in power. People will not respect those in power. Their government, will don't, when they don't show interest, in the affairs of government then of course direct effects of this lack of interest that is political apathy in the affairs in the political activities it's lack of participation people will not take part in political activities they will not vote they will not contest they will not show support to any candidate or political party then when there is political apathy of course you see political ignorance that is when somebody will tell you, why should I vote? Somebody will tell you election is not important. Somebody will tell you uh, the candidates are not my business who becomes the president or governor of my country. That is crass political ignorance to say because people need to understand that whoever is their president or governor affect their life, whether they like it or not. So it brings about political ignorance. People will not like to get information about political issues in their state. Now, let's look at solutions. Do we have to continue with political apathy? How can we reduce it? Because it's an emerging issue, it's a problem in our society due to its effects. Number one, there should be awareness and education. Educate people on the need to take active part, to see reason to take part in the affairs of their state. There should be press freedom. Freedom of press, there should no, be no interference in the press in the course of their releasing information to the public. There should be no censorship from the government. So when we have that, people can adequately get information from them and people can through the press express or react to what is happening in their society. Also, there should be free and a fair election. Having said that the electoral malpractice is one of the uh, causes of political apathy. So if we have free and fair election that can restore the confidence of the voters that make them feel, that will make them feel that their vote counts, people will take part in political activities which cultivate civic values civic value that make people willingly participate or willingly carry out their rules or obligations as citizens of a citizen of a country patriotically when we have it then political party will reduce joining political associations like political parties pressure groups we help to reduce political party 
Also, civic education. That's why we teach you civic education, where we teach you your values, your rules as a citizen, your rights. If we educate people about this, of course, people will be enlightened enough to take active part in the affairs of their state. Security in elections. If we have <clears throat> security in our state, where people can freely come out and vote without fear. Of course, political apathy will reduce because people we can now fearlessly and confidently go out to vote. Finally, if we have practiced a good governance where the government responds to the need of the people, of course, the people will by reaction, identify with the government and want to be involved in the affairs of their states. We have come to the end of this class. Now, let us do a practice with our exam guide app, WASE. Let's see what it looks like. Pay attention to this. Now, this is our app, Exam Guide, SSCE 2022. We also have UTME. Now, if you open the app, this is what it looks like. Very interesting. Now, we are going to practice for WASE, that's West African Senior School Certificate Examination. This is what it looks like. We click this practice. Now, you can choose objective or uh, theory. Now, I choose the objective for the purpose of this exercise. During your own time, you can also do theory. I click the objective. Now, these are the subjects we have. We have different subjects here. Now, because we are doing civic education, I choose civic education by clicking civic education. Now, yeah. I can say, okay, let me take it at random. Any year, you can choose any year of your choice. I choose at random. Um, subjects of interest, as you can see, we have all the subjects covered. Now, because I'm interested in the topic I just taught, political party, I will unselect all by clicking all. You see, all of them have been unselected. Now, I go for political party, I look for it. Political party. Yeah, this is political party. I've selected political party. I click OK. Now, having clicked OK, I get started. Now, there are questions here. Now, look at this. Use the dialogue below to answer questions below. Mr. Ganaba says, Mr. Cartoon, where are you going with the hoe and cutlass on a day that has been set aside for the rescheduled gubernatorial election in our state? Then Mr. Cotton replies, I am going to the farm to have some tubers of yam for the next market day. I don't need to remind you that we have been made our own government Therefore, the sale of this product is much more beneficial to me and my family than whoever becomes the next governor. From the dialogue above, the question now from the dialogue above, Mr. Cotton has demonstrated what? Of course, the answer is apathy, political apathy. What I just taught, remember I told you that poverty can trigger political apathy when people are not interested in who becomes their uh, rulers, like governor, they show apathy. So apathy is indifferent to political activities of the state. So it's not hard work, it's not about survival mode, it's not about intolerance, it's political apathy. Now, next question. Lack of interest in the country is referred to as political apathy. Lack of interest. It's not political ignorance, it's not participation, it's not, so it's apathy, what we just did, lack of interest. Now, as seen in the dialogue above, Mr. Ganaba is involved in an essential community service in that dialogue. As what? Is it an election observer? No. As a party official? No. Political analyst? No. He is, is, is it a social mobilizer? Yes, he's trying to mobilize the other person to actually take part in the affairs of their state. So it's a social mobilizer, it's not observing election, it's not a party official, it's not an analyst, rather he's mobilizing for 
this person, the other person, to actually take part in the affairs of the state. Now, the notion of perceiving the involvement of people in politics as devilish connotes. Remember, this is when people talk about politics as a dirty game and they cannot involve or associate with it. When you talk about this political apathy, it's another way to demonstrate political apathy. Also, which of the following is a consequence of political apathy? <clears throat> Lack of foreign direct investment? No. Emergence of incompetent leaders is one of the effects because we talk about bad governance. When you talk about bad governance, it will be incompetent leaders that will spearhead a bad governance. So this is how it goes. This is our app. We can continue to answer more and do more exercises. It's very interesting. By the time you're done with this, you can do your SSCA, I assure you, of A1. Thank you.